All right. Financial math classes. Today we are talking about graduated state income tax. So this is typically how uh, state or income tax works as the tax brackets move up um, and you make more money. Only the money that is above a certain amount gets taxed at the higher rate. Um, so uh, vocab for the section, graduated income tax, a system that increases the tax rate at different levels of income. And then net pay, the amount of money you have left after your employer subtracts all tax withholdings and personal deductions from your gross pay, also called net income or take-home pay. Um, yeah, so uh, your gross pay, which we talked about last chapter, is just uh, all the money that you're paid. And then from your gross pay, they take out uh, taxes and other deductions. Um, and then what's ever left over is called your net pay. That's all there is to that. Um, let's look at an example from the book. I got to move this down because I got some Zoom stuff blocking my view here. Um, Herb Awanda is a computer operator for database. He earns $38,000 a year. He is single and is paid on a weekly basis. How much is withheld from his weekly paycheck for state taxes? So um, how we're going to do this, uh, we're going to simplify it a little bit here. Uh, we have, he makes 38000 He is single uh, and it doesn't say he has any dependents or anything. So um, that makes this first part easy. We just have to figure out his exemptions. So he's signal single, so he only has the $2,000 exemptions. So his taxable income, first thing we need to do, calculate out the taxable income, take your $38,000 and subtract the total uh, exemptions. So he gets uh, $34,600. Um, Excuse me, thirty-four thousand six hundred. No, not thirty-four. Thirty-six. Hmm. Thirty-six thousand six hundred dollars of taxable income. Um, so each of these things need to be changed into a decimal to work with. So I'll write that off to the side. One point five percent. You divide that by one hundred. That's zero point zero one five. This is zero point zero three. Zero point zero four five. Zero. 0 0.05. So all percentages need to be in decimals to work with. Uh, next thing that we're going to do, this is going to be the same amount for every um, every problem we do. So first thing, I'm going to take the $1,000 and multiply it times the 1.5% as a decimal. That is $15. So his first thousand dollars gets taxed at uh, gets taxed um, $15 out of that. And then the next two thousand. So here it's just two thousand dollars that gets taxed at um, three percent. So two thousand times zero point zero three uh, two. 1,000 times 0 0.03, that comes out to 60. And then the next 2,000, so 2,000 at 0 0.045. So 2,000 times 0 0.045, that comes out to 90. So the first thousand, uh, first $5,000 uh, gets taxed at a total of that's uh, 165 dollars if you add up all those. So now, anything over five thousand uh, dollars gets taxed at five percent. So you need to figure out how much is he making over five thousand dollars. We'll do that over here. So his taxable income was thirty six thousand six hundred. I'm going to subtract five thousand from that. So that's going to be thirty one thousand six hundred dollars. So $31,600, too many zeros there, uh, is taxed at the 5% because that's the stuff over 5,000. So you can take the 31,600 and multiply it times 5%. 
31,600 times 0 0.05, that comes out to 1580. All right, if I add all this up, so the total for the taxes, so 1580 plus 90 plus 60 plus 15, add all that up, he is taxed, total, total he's taxed uh, $1,745 total for the, uh, the entire year, all right? Uh, now, it was asking him how much is deducted from his weekly paycheck. So remember, there's 52 pay periods for a weekly paycheck. So um, how much is deducted weekly? I'm going to take that 17,045, divide it by, organize this stuff a little bit better. 17,045 divided by 52. Uh, so $33.56. We simplified that last part because um, only the deductions are going to be made um, after a certain, uh, uh, um, once you get into the next higher bracket. Um, but that's okay. Uh, just as long as you understand the money, not all money that you earn is taxed at the same rate. Um, so he's going to have about $33.56 deducted from his paycheck each uh, each weekly pay period. Um, and that will do it for that. We'll see you guys next time.